Well, armed police officers raided the Washington, D.C. home of Mark Widashek after his ex-wife tipped off the cops that they were looking for firearms. They didn't find any firearms, but they did arrest him. They cuffed him. They charged him with unlawful possession of ammunition after finding a single shotgun shell, and then they sent him to jail. Now, if he's convicted, Widashek faces jail time even more and a hefty fine, but the same man prosecuting him chose not to go after NBC News anchor David Gregory when he broke the law by showing a 30-round magazine on television. Mark Widashek joins us now live. Mark, thanks a lot for coming on this morning. Good morning. So you're facing jail time for having a single shotgun shell, not for having firearms, but a single shotgun shell. I think it's hard for our viewers to believe this happened in America. This happened in this country? It, it was hard for me to believe that it was happening all the way through. I, I kept saying all, all the way through the process that uh, this can't be happening, this can't be happening until in fact, it, it did. It, this has been going on for 19 months now. So do you have a long record of violent crimes? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. You're a financial nothing. advisor with no criminal yes. record of any kind, no indication you're a threat to public safety. This in a city with a very high crime rate, and the police came to your house in Georgetown and handcuffed you as they searched it? Uh, th there were actually two searches. They came to my house the first time in June to ask me if I had uh, firearms in the home. I, I told them I didn't. Uh, they searched the home during that search, found no firearms. They went back and got a search warrant and came back in July and raided, uh, a SWAT team raided my home, uh, came in, uh, threw me down on the floor, threw my girlfriend down on the floor. Uh, held guns to our heads, handcuffed us. And at that point, they spent a couple hours completely tossing the house top to bottom, uh, at one point taking uh, an old safe that was in the house uh, when I moved in and breaking it open in the driveway with a sawzall at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, finding nothing there, they found a shotgun shell on my desk uh, from an old hunt. It was a souvenir from an old hunt, a non-operable shotgun shell, and that's what they ultimately arrested me for. So the shotgun shell isn't even operable. It, it's no. a dud. It doesn't work. It's, it couldn't hurt it's anyone. It's a dud, yes, and I, uh, I saved it as a souvenir from a hunt. Just uh, There's a story behind it that I don't need to get into, but uh, it, was, it was on my desk. It had been there for, for about five years. I had for, kind of forgotten that it was it was even there, but uh, yeah, they they took that shell and they, they took it. They treated it like a rocket-propelled grenade. Yes, essentially, yes. So you're facing this is I mean it is it's funny in a dark, perverse, grotesque way the police state stuff like this, but the truth is you could go to jail for real over this. Do, are people coming to your aid? Are you being defended by any Second Amendment groups? Are you out by yourself? What's what's the status? Uh, I, I have a criminal defense attorney who's been excellent in this entire process. We've, at this point, we've had eight court hearings over this issue. Uh, we have another one coming up on February 11th. Uh, I do have an attorney who was one of the attorneys in the uh, Heller case, the only case yes. brought before the Supreme Court on a Second Amendment issue. And yes, he's helping well, me on that issue. Well, and I've, I'm certainly I've received rooting for you. I'm sorry we're out of time. You really are a victim of gun control gone completely crazy. Mark Godspeed. And I hope you'll come back and tell us what happens. I will. Thank Thanks. you, Tucker.